Hi, Sean here. We're back with another Friday product post, and we've got a few new products to show you. One of them is a revision, and the other is kind of a throwback product that we dug up in hopes to get you inspired for the upcoming Halloween season. First up, we've got the Lie Power Shield. This is a shield that's been updated to support the R3 format for Arduinos. It allows you to plug in a LiPo battery to it. It contains a charging circuit so that you can charge that LiPo, and it's initially set for 100 milliamps, but by adding a resistor of your own, you can actually adjust that value. There's also an I2C circuit on there so you can pull it from the Arduino and get an idea of how much charge that battery has left in it. You can use this board anytime you wish to power your Arduino project using some sort of of battery, in this case a LiPo, and it has the built-in charger so you can just plug it in whenever you're ready to charge that again. Here I have the SparkFun line following array. I've got it hooked up to our SIK for RedBot, so it's got all of its sensors and stuff, and it's just using one of our RedBot boards. It's a really great tool. It runs really nicely. It's got some example code, which I'm running right here. Very simple example code to get you up and started, and it follows pretty well. You can set it up in the code so that it only runs when you want it to. So you can turn it off when you don't want it to run. You can save your battery power. There's also a setting where you can invert the code. So instead of looking at a black line on a light background, you can look at a white line on a darker background. The array itself has eight IR sensors. It's really nice because it's got this potentiometer, which will turn up or down the sensitivity of the IR power, which will allow you to follow lines in any type of lighting situation. Another cool feature of the line following array is that you have lights up here, which kind of show you what's happening and what it's sensing. So it's really easy to debug. It's really easy to see visually what's going on and what it's doing inside the board. Classic, Sara. And finally, we've got a throwback product. This is the pulse sensor. It reads your pulse if you place it against one of your digits and sends that information over to a microcontroller, or, for example, like an Arduino. If you pay attention to our Electrocute videos, you'll know that Dia used one of these in her Pulsing Heart project, and we'll post a link to that at the end of the video. Well, that's all we've got for this week. I hope everyone's ramping up for Halloween and coming up with cool costume ideas. We'll see you next week.